Making this cosplay was hell. God damn it, it was worth it. This all started after a few friends took me out to eat as a way of celebrating my one year streaming anniversary. Catch my shenanigans live at twitch.tv slash scullysinful. We had just eaten enough Korean barbecue to last us a week and we decided to walk to the nearest Barnes & Noble, which is a bookstore for those who don't know how to read. We dicked around for a while and made it a point to look at every manga that was still wrapped up. The wrapped up manga are spicy for those out of the loop. Then I saw it. Chainsaw Man. I then got distracted by Booty Royale, but after a while I finally picked up Tales of Wedding Rings. Eventually I grabbed Wicked Trapper. Okay, stop, no. All right, after I escaped Horny Jail, which I am a frigate resident of, I picked up Chainsaw Man, read three pages, then put it back on the shelf. That night I got home and started reading the manga online. Over the next few days, I fell in love with the damn thing. I live tweeted my entire journey through the entirety of part one. And by the time I was finished, I had a hankering to cosplay Denji. See, I used to cosplay all the time, but with the pestilence that ravages the world, I was pretty de-incentivized to make costumes. However, I already had three panels at Sabaton Con, which by the time I finished the manga, was just a week away. On a whim, I googled Chainsaw Man EVA foam templates, and there it was. The blueprints to my demise. The low, low price of free. Wait, what? Seven days to do an entire helmet and arm blade was plenty of time, right? Oh, a day passed. Six days is plenty of time to do an entire helmet and arm blades, right? My wife and I armed ourselves to go into the outside closet where all our costume materials were stored, and together we braved the spider encrusted closet. While we managed to be unscathed from the spiders, the goddamn mosquitoes gave us the good suck. Now that I had taken stock of what I had in the cosplay closet, I realized I was missing a ton of 6mm foam and that my adhesive had dried out. I sighed and resigned myself to Michael's run the next day. At least I could print out templates and get a head start by cutting them out in advance. The printer's not working. Okay. So I spent the next four hours trying to fix the printer and cried myself to sleep when the damn thing wouldn't connect no matter what I tried. The next day, Waifu and I went to the movies and had a very nice lunch. We got the templates printed out staples, shout out to Kyo for fixing the file, picked up some business cards, and then we hit the Michaels. When we finally got home, I got straight to work and started cutting out the template. I started with the arm blades since I thought they'd be the least intensive, and after a night full of cutting shit out, I had what I thought was two completed base arm blades. I was wrong. When I woke up the next day, I realized to my horror that I accidentally cut the wrong dimensions, and then I got back to work rectifying my mistake. Eventually, I had completed two of the base arm blades, woo, and then I started doing the teeth of the chainsaws. Oh my god, I do not know the existential agony that was cutting out all of those little teeth. In total, the teeth alone for this project consisted of 700 and 20 tiny individual parts. I listened to an entire six hour video covering the plot of Lost and only managed to finish one arm blade. Ooh. My hand was numb, my ass was numb, and my mind was numb. All I remember from that Lost video was that the doctor was an asshole and everyone's moms wanted to bang the dude with the southern accent. Literally, that's all. Hours blurred together and after huffing contact cement vapors and inhaling microplastics from my dermal tool, I finished constructing the two arm blades with Four days left? I'm in danger! I enlisted the help of one of my roommates to help me put together the teeth, shaving off around five hours of work. The con was looming closer and I hadn't even started construction on the helmet. I spent the rest of the night cutting out the template pieces for the helmet before collapsing into bed. Working on the helmet was actually really fun. It had interesting shapes and after the sheer intellectual boredom that was cutting up what felt like several thousands of the same tiny little pieces, I welcomed the change of pace. I managed to make the faceplate and the core of the forehead chainsaw. The template called for the teeth to be made out of EVA dowel rods, but I didn't have any on hand, so I just decided to sculpt them myself. I actually really love how my army of teeth came out, and I went to bed that night happy knowing that I would wake up in the morning to keep on working on the helmet. What a fool I was. I had forgotten that the helmet also had a chainsaw and that it also needed teeth. That was a dark time for me. But eventually, with the help of my roommate, we banged them all out. 
I was really feeling the pressure now. The past few days I had eaten very little, slept for a total of six hours, and had huffed enough contact cement vapors to paralyze a small child, and I still hadn't painted anything. Oi. That night I listened to videos roasting MCU movies and watched Kobani dance memes and I finally, finally finished the helmet. My favorite bit of the helmet was the hand sculpted gore around the chainsaw and the gums that wrapped around the teeth. It was super fun to do and I think it came out really awesome. It was now Thursday, meaning I had a single day to paint and weather. Luckily none of my painting required anything that took longer than a day, so I hit the arms and helmet with a generous coat of Plasti Dip and made sure they dried. I then spent a good 7 hours hand painting everything before giving it some tough love with weathering. By the end of the day the helmet was drying and I fell asleep comfortable and happy that I had finally finished the outfit with a single day to spare. The next day Waifu and I piled into the car and we headed to the con. Everyone at the con seemed to love the costume and I ended up grabbing pictures with a ton of cosplayers. I was surprised to see that there were a ton of Chainsaw Man cosplayers and this was before the first episode of the anime had even aired. I swear Chainsaw Man's gonna be huge. I can't wait for y'all to experience the story of Denji for the first time. Is it possible to throw together a really kick-ass Chainsaw Man cosplay in under a week? Yep. Would I recommend it? Can I get a hell no? Oh. Nope. No. Hell no. Oh, hell no. Hell no. Just remembering working on all those teeth for hours on end is making me shudder. It was a fun project though, and I would highly recommend for anyone who likes Denji to cosplay him. Plus, it was probably the comfiest cosplay I've ever worn. Thanks for watching, y'all. If you had fun with the video, you are contractually obligated to like and subscribe. I stream every week on Twitch, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So come check out the stream if you like that sort of thing. I'm live right now, actually. Well, doesn't it? Catch the next video where I gush about how excited I am for Gundam Evolution.